All right. Welcome to the Spoiler Kings. And this is the first time, I think, ever we have the all the kings, all the spoiler kings in one one uh one stream. Um, so I'm Tink Kramer. I got uh uh Brian Grizzly, I got Will, Will's back, and we got uh Brandon down there, brand man. So what's up, brand what's man? Up, guys. What's up, fellas? Yo. Right. So it feels like yeah, a, the episode Has of the King's comedy in? right now. That's what it feels like. You know? Yeah, this is <laughs> yeah, this is like this is like a historic <laughs> moment, right? <laughs> yeah, we're... I, I'm just saying, you know, I, I get to be Bernie Mac. I'm going last. <laughs> going last. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got dibs on uh, Steve Harvey. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got the stash. It's somewhere there. Yeah, that means Brandon. That means you get the you DL Diggly man. You DL. I'm just gonna say DL here. <laughs> oh, why do I get uh? He <laughs> <laughs> gets Cedric. Yeah, I get Cedric. <laughs> hey, that man's not even. You know, he at least DL is still like in the news having a beef with uh uh was it who's he having beef with Monique? Monique, yeah. Monique, yeah, yeah. I was like, at least DL Hughley's in the news. Like Cedric ain't even in the news anymore. Uh, he'll be in the haunted house three or something. <laughs> <laughs> Come back. Oh man, oh, but good. cool man. Yeah, so I'm glad that everyone, uh, everyone back. Um, at least for a little while. Yeah, then, you'll be uh, gone. You'll be gone like five weeks, four weeks, three weeks, three weeks. Yeah, yeah. I'll probably. Like, for sure, September. I'll probably be all gone September, and then hopefully yeah. I'll be back around uh, around uh, October. But we'll see. Uh, we'll figure that out later. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. play it by ear. Yeah. So um, we got a double header. If you're watching live, we're gonna talk about pray first, and then we're gonna get into uh, bullet train to the end. Um, but let's uh, let's start off with pray. I got that young synopsis. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. All right. So bring up the trailer. Watch that trailer, and then Will's going to let us know what this one is about. All right. So we have Prey, set in the Comanche Nation 300 years ago. Prey is a story of a young woman, Naru, a fierce and highly skilled warrior. She has been raised in the shadow of some of the most legendary hunters who roam the Great Plains. So when danger threatens her camp, she sets out to protect her people, naturally. The prey she stalks and ultimately confronts turns out to be a highly evolved alien predator with the technically advanced arsenal, resulting in a vicious and terrifying shadow I'm sorry, showdown between the two adversaries. So Prey is pretty much a prequel to the movie Predator, which came out in what, eighty seven? Something like that? Eighty eight? I think it was an eight something. Yeah, man. That was a really good, good call. 87. That was a really good call. Yeah. Was it 87? Yeah, I was thinking 86, 87. Yeah, if you pull that nice. out, that's that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's, that's, that's young, uh, what's his name? Um, young Arnold. So. Arnold. Yeah. Yeah. Does anyone believe that that's really what happened? I mean, was she really a what great mean, warrior at any point in this movie? <laughs> Not really at all. Great... Not at all. <laughs> I, I, thought she was. Was I thought she was. I thought I thought that she was. How was she a great? She warrior was smart. And kill nothing. She 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 she, she was smart anything. and she well she wasn't physics. You can't physically beat because that's what everyone else was trying to do. Yeah. Was physically beat the predator, and yeah. they all lost. She outsmarted. Yeah. Them. She yeah, outsmarted the predator, but it called her a great warrior. So yeah, what, yeah. what does it take to become a warrior? Yeah. Is it just wit? Is it is it also you know being super strong? It, it's a yeah. few things, or, right? Or, or just being in battle yeah. at, in, in every winning. I mean, she was in battle and she never could finish the deal. She wasn't a great warrior. She was a very good apprentice who learned how to you know who knew how to do it, but had to learn how to win. I felt like I felt like that was really what it's like. She could think about her in the mountain the lion. She had a she had a great idea, great strategy, mm -hmm. but she couldn't carry it out. Mm -hmm. no. she I think that well, was, she was she was a rookie. I, she was a rookie. Yeah. So she can't great warrior was, if she's a rookie, right? <laughs> well, I think that was part of her arc because she had to prove herself in that regard to, you mm -hmm. know, in terms of, you know, making that, you know, gradual 
transition and journey into becoming a great warrior, the only one who kind of really believed in her was was what her brother, her brother, really? brother. Yeah, everyone else. High yeah, fast. Everyone else yeah. was like, "Why do you want to be a yeah yeah? Why do you want to be a warrior? Why do you want to be a warrior? You know, you're good at making medicine and all this stuff." So I I liked I, I liked that um that arc and progression um of 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 um, Naru's character. It was a little, you know, we're so used to seeing uh, the Predators take on, you know, like these these um, other brawny characters who more or less kind of, you know, kind of outsmart them here and there. But it's mostly just, you know, them taking the Predator on with brute, with brute strength, you know. I don't, you know, I mean, we I saw don't, that I don't in, feel like her brother did that. I, he was the great warrior. And I don't think that he yeah. took it on with, with great strength. Well, he grew strength. He was trying to protect her. And I think he died yeah. trying to protect her. She was just trying mm -hmm. to let to live. I I don't know if I I think she if she was more willing to to have been you know with him trying to be his partner like he was trying to make her a partner that they both would have mm -hmm. could live and both could have been great warriors. I feel like she was trying to prove herself so much that we didn't he, he never had a chance because he was always going to protect her first. If she would have been like, look, well, hey, I want to, I want to follow around with you. We're going to do this together, and he mm -hmm. knows that she needs to get her props. She could learn how mm -hmm. to finish, the, finish the steps and become that great warrior. And the both of them there, both of them live. Mm -hmm. But I feel like because she jumped in all the time and he had to protect her, he ended up dying. Mm -hmm. He didn't die because he was going after the predator of brute force. He died because he was trying to protect her. I get he that. was the threat, and yeah, he was the threat. Yeah, he was he was the threat. Remember, remember, the predator never saw her as a threat. That's why he just kind of left her alone. So, and you know, you have to remember that this was very much um, Naru's story and her evolution into that warrior character that that you know that she was inevitably going to end up being. So, I was kind of I was I was pretty happy with their approach in in that regard. Yeah. Yeah. It reminded me, I don't know if you ever, uh, there's like an old Japanese, uh, um, book called the book of five rings. It was written by, uh, Miyamoto Musashi. Um, one of my favorite mm -hmm. books, um, like I just hate like Joe Rogan always talks about it. I was like, oh, why do you have to ruin it, dude? Um, <laughs> but he was like, but, but Miyamoto is like one of the greatest strategic st strat strategy kind of guy. Like, in, in all of history like everyone talks about uh um oh my god what's the other freaking uh japanese book that everyone's the Shinsu, art of war the art of war art of war yeah art of war i think this one's way better this one's way better but because he, really? he he outsmarts his oh if you never read it dude you got to read it it's it is so freaking good i i read okay. it at least a few times a year it's really short um like he he wrote it in a cave like right, right before he you know died and he just like wrote all his stuff all his Wow, thoughts and ideas out. Um, but uh, mm -hmm. but yeah, I mean, he's just like, like he would go around and challenging other people, and but he would like. There's one where he like provoked the the this other school, I guess you know, because it was always the schools going against each other. Because at that point, the samurai was over, and and he knew he couldn't beat the guy, or he couldn't beat them all because it was gonna like they're gonna gang up on him. So he like hung out up in a tree all night. And like, and he he was at the battlefield before them, and then you know pretty much sneaked attack to sneak attack. You know what I mean? It was like ah, he outthought mm -hmm. them. You know, and same thing is like, there's one where he fights Smart. with a paddle, like literally a paddle from a boat, because he's like, oh, this guy, he can't mm -hmm. get to me because I can keep him far by a paddle. Mm -hmm. So it's like smart outsmarting your 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 opponent, and that's what like this really reminded me is like she would like sit and observe. Always watching, 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 watching. Yeah. You know, and it was just like, you know, because at one point I'm like, oh, she knows how to use the gun. But I'm like, of course she would know how to use the gun because they already proved like she knows how to watch things and pick it up like really quick. You know, and that was one thing I really liked about her was like being a warrior isn't just like the brute force. It was also like being able to like look at the battlefield and take advantage of everything, you know, to make sure you win. You know, and I think she 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 did that like so. Like the end of this movie, I don't want to spoil it. That was awesome. I I'm like, how is she going to use that to her advantage? And and the way she did it, I'm like, cool. Like I, that was that was so cool. But here's my thing: like her brother 
didn't just use brute force. He yeah, he was, ran, he was just piece. whacking, but no, what, he, was, what, he didn't. You know, he, 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 well, he, he wasn't just whacking him. He saw when Predator was looking at was looking at her. Then he attacked mm -hmm. him at that point because he was trying to, once again trying to protect her. Like it, it, and even when he killed the lion, or because he, he killed the lion, he didn't go kill the lion. He got her home first. Then he went back and, and used her strategy. Still, he listened to her. Yeah. They, he always considered them as like partners. They said, "We did this. We did this." She's the one that said. You no no. She was the one that broke it up and say like no. You doing this? No one gives me mm -hmm. any credit. It. I felt like he always believed in her. You know, and yeah. that's why my point. Mm -hmm. And it, it, he he did. I mean, and he he was always there for her, her to have her back. And I feel like he was doing the same thing she was doing, and they could have worked it out together. But he always saw her as I have to protect her, protect her instead of. You know, just you know, trying to mm -hmm. do what I'm doing. Worry about my own. Uh, stuff. I mean, she should have died on it multiple times. And he made sure yeah. she didn't. He made yep. sure she did. So that's like I feel like part of being a warrior is looking, no, having a, a idea of what's most important in every every scene, every sense. And I thought I, I lost her as a warrior. That said, one because she'd never been to war, and then two, or in an conflict that she's actually had to finish, and two. When they all were happy for her brother, she was not. And I thought that was kind of kind mm. of bogus a little bit. You know, the one person yeah, who definitely. believed in you, the one that's been having your back, the one who carried you home before anything else happened, you're not at least happy for him? Yeah. I thought that was kind of suspect. Yeah. Well, they do that. That's like a, like a trope, you know, the, the jealous sibling, you know, like, you know, that that's. Yeah, I yeah. He was yeah. a jealous. I, I, see, I see what you're getting. <laughs> you know, like, no, she was, was jealous of him. That was, that was my was point. It's like, like yeah. yeah it's, it's, but both were siblings, but he didn't do that to her. He didn't then downplay what she wanted to do, and then when she mm -hmm. wanted to, like, hey, I need to be here. He's like, no, she needs to be here. She's the best tracker. She's good at this. Mm -hmm. He always built to build her up. I just didn't like the fact that she didn't notice that, and he got to die. Without her realizing, we could have been done, done this together. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It kind, I, it kind of. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. My bad. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was just gonna say it kind of felt. A, I, I I see why they did it. It did kind of feel a little necessary for the in terms of the narrative, in terms of her, you know, kind of being forced to be more more self sufficient than she already was and more or less just kind of going going it alone it's something it, it it's it just kind of seemed like a common trope that you see in movies which mm. i kind of saw coming i would have been fine if it didn't happen you know because i love to see all the siblings live <laughs> in movies but I I, I I get i get the why i get why they did it but i i'm saying once again I, my own my, my whole premise was i don't know if i call her a warrior at the beginning, she's a, a great warrior. That was my yeah. whole uh, my premise at the beginning. Is that I don't know if that's what she is. I think she was something like I said. She's something like an apprentice, learning how to do this stuff, and having someone who believed in her the entire time, and then he's the one that got to go. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. more what I think it, it should have been more. Yo, know, he is the one that, but you know, I don't know. I, I I love the movie. Don't get me wrong. I just thought that always saying that she's a warrior when he was the warrior and he was trying to show her and be there for her too. Mm -hmm. And she saw what it took to be a warrior too. And she was able to put him with her together and then be defeat this mystical, unbelievable God, basically. Mm -hmm. The greatest predator ever. Yeah. 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 What, no, what, you think? what you think, Will? So... I kind of agree with with both uh, with both parties. So pretty much, the one we thing are. you ask, right? Um, on on Brian's premise is, you know, what makes a warrior? A warrior mm. can be strong. They can be strong minded. They can, you know, it, it, it can be a few things that add on to that um, that warrior role. And it's also the the journey to get there as well. I, I do wish the synopsis that I read, um, which, by the way, I got it from Rotten Tomatoes. I would have worded it a little bit differently. Um, but 
she it was kind of her journey to turn into a warrior i think i i, I think she yeah. she's more of an, an apprentice like she was someone that was still learning you know even down to the whole scene where she like uh, attaches um a, a tether to her like her her hatchet whatever that was pretty cool it yeah, was kind of reminded me yeah. of like of like batman year one where she's like kind of figuring out shit um, because she had the skill, she had the accuracy, she had, you know, um, always had the knowledge, right? She always had knowledge with the medicine, um, knowing how to use her resources to her advantage, right? You know, um, small spoiler alert. I mean, we are the spoiler kings. Um, there's something that she can take, you know, orally that messes with, you know, um, the senses of the predator. And she used that to her advantage. And I thought that was like the greatest thing, you know, like Mm -hmm. it's one thing to, you know, to, to beat your opponent, you know, one-on-one physically, but to do it physically and mentally, she added on that extra factor. And I thought that was well done. I think the making of a warrior is something that like should be really um, emphasized here. Yeah. Um, Yeah. Cause that's, that's what it was. It was like, she needed to find that, 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 that hunt so she can become the warrior. You know, because I think at the end, how to win. Well, yeah, because at the end, he's like, Oh, he goes, Why did this have to be? Uh, I forgot what word they use, but he goes, Why did this have to be your, 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 your pick? Uh Why did you have to pick this to be your, your person that, or the thing that you hunt? You know what I mean? Like everyone else picks a lion or a bear. She ends up picking like a fucking predator, you know? So, well, it's because what I loved about her is her personality. When she saw something that wasn't, was unsolvable, she had to know more. She yeah. went. She you know, that's why she makes her a great tracker. She figured out this is not a bear. I need to know more about that. That that is unbelievable that she was able to do that. And then it wasn't that that she was using the, the stuff that she was uh, uh, using as, as medicine messed with the, the predator's senses or, or sensors. Either way, it was more that she realized that it was a. She re- picked up on that quickly and realized yeah. picked up on the mask quickly. She was able to yeah. figure those things out so fast, and I think that was another thing that just get add, added layers to it. And that, I think that's what yeah. I really enjoyed about the movie more than anything is the, the layers that they continue to add on. Yeah. See, so, so uh, Garris is saying her body temperature dropped. I was trying to figure that out it's because it's the like there's times took. where like it was a medicine that she took. It, that medicine it, she took, right? Yeah. It, and they say if you take too much, then you also kill yourself. So she she knew how much to take. To slow your to, blood down. Yeah. So get that heat when, you guys remember yeah. when uh, yeah. the, the kid who was going after the lion and she's like, oh, no, he's cold. He's cold. We have to do something to warm it up. She's like, well, it's better than to be cold now or to be dead later. Which one would you rather? You want to make him comfortable and dead or you want to make him cold now? <laughs> so this medicine yeah. that she gave him may drop her body temperature. Yeah. So she mm-hmm. knew already what it was. Like she was able to put these things together quickly. And that's what yeah. I really enjoyed about her. Yeah. Yeah, she was she was super super smart, and I think that's what made her scary. You know what I mean? Because like the other guys were making fun of her for adding the rope to her hatchet. Meanwhile, she's over here yeah, like killing three up. rabbits and yeah, she's like doing like Mortal Kombat shit. <laughs> that's the first. Thing. Yeah, she's whipping she's that not. thing around. I was like, she, like I'm like, oh, she it. is. Yeah, she was super sick with it. Um, yeah, yeah. But that, that, um, that was part yeah. of that machismo that that male dominate. Uh, this is the world. Where, let's be honest, it's, it's funny because she was hunting a lion, and the lionesses are the one that are actually the ones who hunt all the prey. So I mean, it, that's I found that interesting in the movie too. Like you're hunting a, a lion, but it's really a female lion that does all the hunting of all these of these prey things. They're the ones that are cunning and and know how to use their environment better and all those things. So I thought that I was interesting to use the lion, in, yeah, in it, yeah. Yeah, well, like uh, Gary said, yeah, it's a weird uh, plot device, the flower where I think she, uh, she's, the flower thickens uh, his blood or something, which uh, that's what I thought it would, um, which probably would kill in real life. That's what, Well, they said that too. He goes, too much can kill him. He's just like, I know what I'm doing. Um, but they need a not so obvious reason to use the mud. But also, like, she didn't know. I, I, I'm trying to like think of her like they don't know about like, infrared or like uh or heat sensors and stuff like that she's just like oh i she they see blood which that makes more sense because you have to think in in that that time you know um but yeah <laughs> what, 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 yeah uh, no prayers holding a, a dead arm holding a thumbs up is a major bonus <laughs> <laughs> yeah 
True. Shane Black ought to be ashamed of himself for that. <laughs> <laughs> that 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 and uh what what else was there in the predator? The um the iron predator suit at the end. Yeah. You yeah. Know, uh, so that th- so so real quick so, before I because I want to get into like okay his the predator's get up was very different. But before I get into that, I want to ask you guys. Yeah. Did anybody else notice the Schwarzenegger callback? But this time it was the Predator doing it, like slowly coming out from the watery, muddy, you know, yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah. thing. I was like, yeah, that was, yeah, that was good. Yeah, because yeah. I'm like, <laughs> no one expected him that the Predator to be that. I was like, that as a cool callback. That was good. Well done. Mm-hmm. Real sharp. Yeah, well done. That was good. Um, yeah. But yeah, what, what do you guys think about his uh, his armor? Like he wasn't fully armored and you know i i have some like thoughts about it but he wasn't he he had like this bone kind of bone mask thing. the yeah. mask still helped it still oh. saw the infrared stuff and it still had mm-hmm. the, the red laser targeting yeah, yeah it's laser mm-hmm. stuff it was, it was interesting <laughs> that they but you see because it's that bear it was yeah, i don't you know yeah, what the problem yeah, was? Yeah. He was he was giving he was giving the predator that work. No, he was trying to <laughs> yeah. fight. He was yeah. trying to fight two at the same time. That's his problem. If he only fought yeah. one, if he only had to fight one, he would have won. But the fact that he tried to fight <laughs> both of them at the same time, the girl and the predator, that's what luck made him lose. He should have focused mm-hmm. on one thing. Hey, Stupid bear. You think he would have had it? <laughs> Grizzly yeah. bears really yeah, so- real, man. We're talking about they do this. <laughs> <laughs> they do this. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know that I was, in in my in my head canon. That was the same. That was the same uh, bear that gave Leonardo DiCaprio that work in the Revenant. Hey. <laughs> 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 That's a different type that of work. Man. Playing any games? That's a different type <laughs> of work. Yeah, um, that's funny. Yeah. So, so what? What? What else about, about his like lack of armor in this one? Well. In, then it makes sense also they've been 300 years before all this stuff is happening. This is like yeah. ancient for them too. So they've learned throughout the years that they need to have this, this certain armor. They protect their warriors now when they send them up. Angel! The planet, but they didn't have to do that before. <laughs> you know? Sorry. I, I thought Kershaw was a gorilla. Or, or, <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen Tar- 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 but, um, but no, uh, yeah. I, I like I like well you know the you know the the predators are you know supposed to be way ahead of us in terms of tech uh, technology and they were always evolving as well. I think there were mm-hmm. kind of subtle hints in the previous movies that over time they were kind of evolving in terms of tech and armor and that sort of thing. So for this to be kind of like an early stage predator because even some of the tech it was using wasn't you know um was a, was a tad bit less advanced than what we've seen in some of the previous movies just a little bit but really the, i thought uh, it, was, it was a lot less advanced a lot of this stuff yeah. was. i thought it was too you can see yes yeah. <laughs> <years. laughs> <I'll laughs> <fix that. laughs> yeah. wait kerchak yeah. wasn't kerchak was yeah, a wasn't kerchak a gorilla was a gorilla? Or was he a bear? I don't know. Nah, it was a gorilla. It was a gorilla. It was a gorilla. Still, okay. thought that counts. Yeah, yeah. true. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that counts. Right. I get it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but but yeah yeah I, I um so yeah I liked the idea you know of of that of of them kind of progressing over time and you know yes. us seeing a very early you know form of of a predator in that regard I thought that was a good idea. Yeah. So what, what about you, Will, before I get into my theory on it? What do you, what do you think about the armor? or? Is, um, I, I, I mean, it, it's, 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 what is it, 1700s? So um, even yeah. though they are, what is it, the Predators are more advanced than us, they still probably still had a setback 300 years ago or 300 mm-hmm. plus years ago. So I think it was appropriate for that time. You know, mm-hmm. if it was more 1900s and and he has that, then that would that would take me out the you know the the realism of the movie. You know, like I, I wouldn't I wouldn't believe it. They're supposed to be really advanced, 
but they're they're also evolving as much as us. I mean, you saw his yeah. like damn feet, like those things were those were some big dogs. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah, thought it was yeah. a bear. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what they thought. Um, no, nah, I I was on board with it. Like it, it was different. Um, it, it didn't take me out the movie. Um, yeah. The bone armor. Yeah, I wish they would have chose some some different, like a a weird metal that we don't know about or something. But whatever. Yeah, yeah. All right. So he, here's my theory. Mm-hmm. What if that that predator was there on a proving mission of his own? Mm. You know, not exactly no, 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 no. That's what I thought. I was like, they're like, cool. We're gonna give you basic. You know, like for them, basic things go hunt and bring back the coolest shit. You know, because yeah. I'm like, why was he keep getting the skulls? Why was he doing this? Why was he only fighting the stuff that wasn't trapped? You know what I mean? So I was like, what if he was there trying to become a warrior like she was trying to become a warrior? Ooh. That would to me that that kind of made sense. I was like, because then it's like these two rookies trying to get to that next level, trying to become that warrior in their tribes. And that's what I was th- trying to think. It was like, what if they're like very basic primitive weapons? You know, and obviously primitive for a predator would be, you know, not having like metal body armor and all this crazy shit. But yeah, you well, know, that's what like I was kind of like a, thinking. A rite of passage, whatever. Like that's and that's same thing they're yeah. doing in their tribe. You know, he went out to yeah. go fight the mountain lion. Lion the first time it was a rite of passage. Yeah. You know, and that's what. Yeah, I agree. Take you yeah. take because I was like, uh, he got dropped off. You know, they literally dumped them off and took off. You know, and I was like, I, I, I wondered, I wondered that. I was like, I'm like, is he there to prove himself to his, you know, tribe or clan or whatever kind of stuff? So yep. I'm like, huh? Because I'm like, or I mean, like you said, it could be as simple as it's just old. So yeah, or it could be maybe. both. Or it could just be both. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Did, uh, did Brandon fall asleep? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm awake. <laughs> Okay. No, I never wait, know if it's froze or. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, I'm awake. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Definitely awake. That's awake. Um, I'm asleep. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, so I don't know. We we both talked a, a lot of. I don't know. We kind of mixed in all the good and the bad. Any 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 last things before we get into our ratings on this one? I don't know. If there's a lot of bad. I question things, but I don't mm-hmm. think it, it was really bad in the in the actual movie. Itself, I love the, the character development. Uh, mm. I like that they showed, especially in that society at the time, what the place of women were, and that she would didn't want to just be in that place. It wasn't about a woman's yeah. rights movement; it's just about being a person, wanting to be recognized for what you're good at and what you love to do. I love yeah. all yeah. that, you know. And yeah. um, I, I mean, I thought I think it was, just wanting to prove people wrong, no yeah. matter what. You know, and I think that was yeah. good about the whole entire movie. But that's what made it one of the better Predator movies. So, I mean, mm-hmm. I was all for it. You know? Yeah. Because yeah. there's that one line that she said to, I think, her mom where she's like, oh, you could do anything. You're so smart and, and so skilled. And he goes, why do you want to do this? She's just, and she's like, because none of you think I can do this. None of you, know you think I, mean? I can. Yeah. 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 And I was like, that, that can hit it doesn't matter if you're guy, girl, whatever, like that just hits, you know, like being told you can't do this and then wanting to prove people wrong. So I thought that yeah. was a cool thing. Yeah. Um, I, I still think, else? I still think she could have did this with her brother. Cause he's the one person that believed in her. Yeah. Yeah. But and, and I, th- I, yeah, like I think that's being young and that, stupid kind of thing. That's part about, about her being young and, and naive and not understanding that yeah. sometimes you should learn how to, Work together with people because you eventually you're, you can't do it alone. You can't. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I I agree with that. Part of her growth. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. You guys ready to? We'll get into our our real home. We got a couple more things. Um, yeah. I said uh, the Comanche tribe and French uh, voyagers are soft touch for the predators. Yeah. Easy yeah. Work. That, that was super cool. Uh, I did like the French that uh, they kept them speaking French, which was cool. It was like you yeah. didn't hear the the Europeans, you heard the Native Americans speaking the language you understood. So I thought that was that was a really cool little touch. What about the, the French the fact that the French voyagers were the ones that are wasting all the animals? Yeah. 
Yeah. They're, they're well, at first I thought that was the Predator. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, why is he killing was everything? Too. And then yeah. you start realizing it was the French voyagers that were scalping everything, just leaving the, the meat there to rot. Yeah. You know, and taking advantage of the situation, what, what it was. I mean, you have an environment that every, they're eating everything that they kill, you you know, and then they go ahead and just leave it there. They're wasting. Mm-hmm. Show for the the wastefulness yeah. of, of that. Oh, that yeah. was good, too. Yeah. Yeah. We said uh, the biggest gripe was the too much CGI. It, there was parts where it was a little low budget, and there was parts where it looked really sharp. But overall, I didn't mind it too much. You know, I think when he, when you know, spoiler, he killed a, a wolf. I thought that was a little not as good as it could have been. Mm-hmm. But like the mm-hmm. snake part, you know, <laughs> with the snake, I thought that was really good. That was, I thought, man, that was super detailed. So that was cool. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was. But, and then yeah, and then obviously yeah, critical drinker is is uh, I know you have brought him up before. He is getting roasted over on Twitter. Just everyone talking shit about it. Um, <laughs> but he reviewed the movie and he said, uh, yeah, he's like not that great. But he also said the trailer it's gonna be like woke SJW trash, and I think he said stuff like that. And and he, I'll give the trailer. It didn't look great. I'm like, eh, it looks all right. You know, whatever. I watch a predator movie. Um, mm-hmm. I didn't think like, oh, because it's a female, it's gonna be garbage. I decided like that's yeah, it's straight to Hulu. How could good can it be? There, there hasn't been a good predator movie <laughs> in a long time. But I mean, obviously, I would say I'm wrong, man. That trailer was good. The movie a bazillion times better than the trailer. A bazillion mm-hmm. times better. Oh, Where, yeah. Yeah. I think I think critical kind of stuck to his guns, you know, and I think that's an issue. Like, if you're wrong, you're wrong. Just say shit, I was wrong. That was a great movie, you know. Yeah. He just like, yeah, it was an okay movie. I'm like, bullshit, dude. That was a freaking amazing movie. So yeah, yeah. You gotta, you gotta take it from from the source. You always gotta look at it from from the source and say, what do you like saying? What do you like seeing? You know, if you can't see past your own face, your own own views, and sometimes mm-hmm. it's hard for you to accept a movie for when it's just good on its own merits. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm getting progressively done with critical drinker i used to find him Mm -hmm. amusing for a while um early on but you know now whenever it's whenever whenever the character is a woman or something like that he he just he just gets all pissy about it i don't Mm -hmm. know if that's just part of his act or 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 what but yeah i'm i'm kind of i'm kind of over him i I always i feel like i I never know him can, can't you just be honest? Like, yeah. I, I, like I said, I had a problem with the fact that you're calling her a warrior right now beforehand. Doesn't mean I didn't like the mm-hmm. movie. Doesn't mean I didn't like her sure. character. Doesn't mean all the stuff. Just be honest with it. Like, it, do, it doesn't make sense for this, but this makes sense for that. And then give them their props. When it's a good movie and she's a great character and everything she did made sense in the movie, then the movie mm-hmm. is good. So how about yeah. you just mm-hmm. understand that? Just look at it with that type of eye. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's also like for me the opposite. If like if a trailer looks amazing, like the trailer looks really, really good, and the movie was kind of like okay, you know, I'm like yeah, cool. You know, like it wasn't as good as I thought it was gonna be. But same thing with this. Like I thought it was gonna be a, a whatever kind of D list kind of yeah predator movie. <laughs> you know, like because it just yeah. the trailer was kind of cut, kind of weird. There wasn't that much hype about it, um, and it was straight to Hulu. So I was like, whatever. It's gonna be. You know, you know, whatever. But I was I was wrong, man. I mean, this everyone knows her name now. Like, um, I don't know if you guys know where she's from. She was uh, Roswell. You know, I I, I know uh, the I newer version, the new right? Fan, the new the new version of Roswell. Uh, my girlfriend's a big fan of that one, mm. and uh, she was also in Legion. So. Uh, and she was also a badass, kick-ass fighter in, in Legion, too, you know? So um, for the short-lived series that was, but she was in Legion. And then this one, she she's going to be a household name, I think, after this, you know? Um, and also her name is uh, uh, Amber Midthunder. Amber Midthunder? <laughs> yeah. Which, which is, is a funny. badass name, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, I didn't even watch too many trailers. Well, I, I watched, I think I watched like the initial trailer two. for the movie and just, yeah. Kind of, yeah, there were I two know for things, a fact, you know, I know Dan for a fact you watched one. 
<laughs> with, uh, with us. With us. Oh, what's that? Problem, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Uh, yeah. And, and, you know, yeah. it was cool that uh, Dan Trachtenberg, uh, you know, well, obviously, it, you know, they touted him as the director of 10 Cloverfield Lane as well. If I remember correctly, like, he sh- – he shot this under the radar. Like this was secretly shot. Mm-hmm. You didn't hear anything about it until I think after filming was completed, which I think is something pretty cool. And that, that kind of yeah. added to the mystique of the movie and the anticipation, at least for me. So I kind of purposely avoided as little um, advertising for it as possible. All I knew mm-hmm. was that it was a new predator movie. And, and it was supposed to be kind of like a different, you know, something different than what we're used to, which really, really intrigued me, you know, being a, being a Predator fan anyway. So I, I, I really liked the, the execution, the way they marketed it, um, you know, just pretty much everything. There, there, was, there was a lot about it to, um, that I liked. And probably, I, I, I'd say I'd, I'd probably put it in the middle of of Predator one and two in terms of my favorites. Well, let's rate yeah. it. Well, let's yeah, rate yeah it. let's get into the ratings. All right. Okay. Well, we'll let Will let Will um do the announcement. Now he's back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, let's let know how we how we do ratings over here. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So over here at the Nerd Huddle, uh, spoiler kings like to review movies a little bit differently than uh, your average. Uh, movie review show. So we're either going to rate this movie out of one of three ways that you can see down below. It's going to be either a watch now, a watch later, or a watch never. A watch now means, yo, drop everything and go watch this movie ASAP because it's that good. It's top priority. Watch later means, eh, you can catch it when it comes out, you know, streaming, although this already came out streaming. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's not priority. It's like you can watch it while you're doing the dishes or something. A watch never means don't give this movie any time of day, no money, save your coin, and watch something else. Go watch Predator 1. Um, with that being said, um, what do you guys think uh, this movie kind of falls under? Uh, who wants to go first? Um, I'll go first and we'll go We'll go back around. Um, okay. So I'm, I'm giving this one to now. I mean... If you're a Predator fan, you're 100% going to like this. If you're just an action movie fan, you're going to like this. If you just like seeing badass like women, you're going to like this. I mean, cool fights, cool like technology, like cool throwbacks to like the original. It it just kind of did everything for me. Like it was really great, like really really great cool, great great. Um Point. yeah, I just yeah, it's great. Um, but yeah, it's it's it hit all the marks. And I'm I'm probably gonna watch this again. I'm pr- I'm most likely definitely is gonna watch this again. Ding ding ding. Um, yeah. So mm-hmm. it was it was good. I wish it had a the- a theater release. Uh, you know, yes. you know theatrical release. Yes. I would have loved loved to see this in IMAX. That would have been sick wow. in IMAX. So, but yeah, that that's what I'm saying. What about uh, what about you, Brian? Uh, I, I, I told you I'm Bernie Mac, bro. Will you go? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll go. That way. <laughs> All right. So, um, for the movie Prey 2022, um, I'm definitely giving this a watch now. So I, I'm a Predator fan. Um, I like I like so many things about this movie. F- one before anything, writing was key. Very creative. Um, the technologies and, and everything that they sh- shown, you know, even cinematography was just so, so key for this movie to make it look good. And I agree with, with Tank. I wish this movie would have came out in theaters because, yeah, it would have looked nice seeing the Predator go invisible and seeing that, like, that little mystique, you know, technology that probably exists now. Back then it didn't exist, but probably exists now. Um, that would be just so nice to see on the big screen. Um mm-hmm. Also, the uh, the cast, um, th- the main protagonist, she did really well. I think she, she made me a believer that she was trying to, you know, achieve that warrior role that Brian says that she doesn't deserve in the beginning. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I think she did it really, really well. Um, and also, I'm really proud of the, the casting. Pretty much most of the uh, indigenous folks that were played were played by real indigenous folks in real life. So I was like, yes, representation you know, like exactly. get that, that out there. That for sure. So overall, I give this a watch now. 
Um, and then to answer the question, you know, would I watch this again? Yes, I'm going to watch it probably later tonight. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's it for me. What about you, uh, Brandon? Man? Yeah, this is definitely a now for a multitude of reasons. First and foremost, if you have any a streaming service, you know, obviously specifically Hulu, you have re- you you really have no excuse not to. Um, from from an from an aesthetic standpoint, I really like the cinematography, the way that it was shot. I thought I thought yeah. it was very well paced. Uh, to an extent, it was. It was kind of like a slow to medium burn, which I really, really appreciated. You know, it, it like a medium to slow burn kind of goes hand in hand with the character of the Predator, uh, you know, and Hunter against Hunter was, uh, so to speak, you know, that that really kind of aided in, in that vibe. I really liked the, the, the character of Naru. I liked her arc a lot. I liked, uh, you know... It, it was a, it was a different take on what we're used to from a predator movie, which I think really really worked to its advantage. And uh, I'm happy that the dog lived, and I'm happy that this was a, <laughs> yeah. this, that, that this was that this was a great improvement over the last predator movie that we got, which which I was which I was still a little salty about even going into this one four years <laughs> after the fact. But, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, let go, I, I got, got heat for Shane, for Shane Black. <laughs> just let go, man. Just, just let go. An <laughs> iron okay. predator suit, just, an just iron predator go. suit, and we- and weaponized autism. Why you hate me? I, I, I can't. I can't. Why you hate me? I can't let that go. I, I can't let that go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't. I, I'm, I'm really feeling a certain kind of way about, about that. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but it's okay now. All right, it's okay. Now. Hey, before uh, before this Brian goes, uh, so Gary uh, Gary said, uh, "Watch the movie now and eat some now and later while you're doing it." There you go. <laughs> Boom. Done. Yes. Give it, give it now. And then also, real quick before we get into the the last one, uh, Jimmy Jimmy gave this one five stars. You know, so All you right. know he, he 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 liked it. You know, he even went up on our uh, Facebook group. Uh, Facebook.com slash spoiler kings went on there and he just like said, you know, how much he liked it over there as well. So, um, so if you're not part of the spoiler kings over on Facebook, go check us out over there. Um, you know, we put up a bunch of like info and news and reviews and stuff like that. So, so that being said, um, what about, uh, what about you, Brian? I don't know if you guys are ready for this. <laughs> All right. First off, let's go. <laughs> the real star of the movie is the dog. The yes. dog is the true <laughs> really star was. of the entire movie. He's the one, I don't know if it's he or she, but uh, definitely <laughs> save the day for everybody. So, you know, yeah. knew to get yeah. away with was, was a lion, knew when to fight, knew when to, you know, be quick with a bear. Come on, man. That, that dog mm-hmm. is everything. Spoke English. I was like, what the hell? It's, the dog is understanding yeah, dog. English. What is this? Well, technically, it would be Comanche, right? Because we heard oh, yeah, it as English. Comanche right? <laughs> well, yeah. no. The dog knew. He speaks multiple English, multiple languages. He's amazing. <laughs> Bile- you know, bilingual. bilingual dog. That's what that was. That was an amazing bilingual dog. You know? Wow. So he's talking about she trained him. He trained her. That was what was great. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, uh, honestly, I think that movie on Dolby would have been amazing because, you know, when you're black, you start blacker and you're able to see mm-hmm. through the darkness even better. Those mm-hmm. night scenes yeah. would have been amazing. Yeah. And I love the way they're shot already, Great. but you, I feel like you lost a little bit with it just being on Hulu. And this, everything was, was well written. The story was good. I, I liked all the characters because they're real life. It's not like I'm going to create a character that's one sided, that's all good, or does everything right. They make characters that are more realistic. They are going to do some good things, they are going to do some bad mm-hmm. things, they're going to be smart sometimes and be stupid sometimes. That's mm-hmm. what you want in the movie. You want a movie with a character that's well rounded, that has all parts. And if you're looking for that type of movie, mm-hmm. that's this movie. And I will—I I actually think I like this as much as I like uh, Predator One. 
So I'm going mm-hmm. to say um, this is a definite now. And if you're a Predator fan, you need to watch this now because you might be missing out. Yeah. Would you watch it again? I'm watching it right now. I'm just talking about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to watch it again. Yeah. I meant to, really, I meant to really mention that as well. <laughs> right now. Yeah. Don't yeah. repeat. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. I mean, it's, it's definitely a, a big win for Hulu. Hulu. Hulu's been on the bottom of that uh, streaming list, you know, and yeah. uh, I, ever since now Disney owns basically Hulu at this point now. Um, yeah. Yeah. This was definitely a big win for for Hulu, um, mm-hmm. and I, I I want I do wonder if they're gonna re- release this in theaters. It already got mm. the hype, you know. Might as well like throw throw it on IMAX and some Dolby Cinema and kind of stuff. Get some, throw it a hundred throw it at a hundred theaters and see what happens. Yeah, yeah. Just do that select AMC stuff that they they like to do a lot. Mm-hmm. It, I think it'll make a a really good penny you know in uh in that mm-hmm. um and then we also have uh, on our ron tomatoes so the tomato meter gave it 92 percent the critics with 191 reviews and the audience 81 percent with uh 250 uh 2500 um rating. Nice. so that's, that's pretty that's pretty good numbers pretty good numbers you know um I'm, i was really surprised uh the audience wasn't higher i thought the audience would have been higher with something like this no, because mm-hmm. you're gonna have some old school predator people that only want to yeah. see a male dominant, you know, guy try to you know contain the predator. What? Yeah. That's not the way to be the predator. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. And if you want to be real honest, it's alien versus predator, alien, the, the the it's really the queen that dominates all the predators. So I'm just saying, it makes sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I liked it. You know, I mean, there's some people, you know, saying the stuff you would normally expect when there's a female lead. Um, there's some that are just kind of plain boring and complete mess, very disappointing. You know, which I, I don't agree with. Yeah, yeah. So, your life must, so. must be way too exciting if that was boring. Your life is just too exciting yeah. for me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I somebody, somebody said the horrible. Was flying past my face. It's not really that yeah, interesting. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, somebody said horrible, forced, and pointless, which like that. it was a slow burn. So what? how's it forced? Like, yeah, they don't know, the, they don't know the, uh, understand what the words that they're saying actually mean. Yeah, or you 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 fail to understand Predator on a very fundamental level. Slow burn is has is used. The first Predator was a slow That's burn. A, yeah, the first one. Yeah, yeah, the first one was a big slow burn. You know. Mm-hmm. Um. And then uh, yeah, uh, Garrett said, Predator, Prey, AVP, mm. and then Predator 2, uh, AVP, Requiem, and the Predator, uh, sorry, sorry Shane. <laughs> don't, don't say sorry to Shane Black. Don't say sorry to him. <laughs> he doesn't deserve an apology. <laughs> don't apologize to him. Yeah. He knew what he was doing. <laughs> don't apologize to him. Oh, uh, man. But, tell me how you really feel. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but I would I would love to see a sequel. I am pretty sure they're going to make a sequel. Um, you can really start adding more of the colonization part of it all. You can add them moving into another tribe's area, you know, and them trying to convince mm-hmm. another tribe, like, hey, you know, here's his head of this thing, you know, help us. You know, but also yeah. we have these people that want to take our land as well. So um, I, I don't know. I think I think uh, you know. I think we can see some cool stuff. Yeah. If so. if you if you guys had to pick another um another another time and setting uh for for a, for us for another what would it what would it be and why is it feudal Japan? <laughs> I was just gonna <laughs> say that. <laughs> I was just gonna say that because that that would have been the best. Um, I get, I can see like uh, medieval, you know, them doing medieval as well. It's kind of medieval, kinda... yeah. That that would that would be amazing. Like there, there's there's a lot of wiggle room and possibilities that 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 they could, you know. Hey really guys, cool. my battery's about to die. Just want to let you know. All right, I'm proud to see you guys a little later. All right. All right. Okay. All right, man. <laughs> All right, later, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're moving down there. 
<laughs> yeah. So, um, but yeah, I I can see them going there. Uh, Japan, I can see them doing a cool, some cool space, uh, stuff like that. Um, yeah. any any time for you, Will? Any cool times? Ooh, I would like to see um, Predator and like. Mm, I don't know. They've already done space and like futuristic stuff. I would like to see Predator, <laughs> not too far back, but like like dinosaur times or something. Fighting T Rexes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it would. I feel like it would turn silly too quick, but uh, I would like to see something like that. Something like before okay. even before even humans. That'd be interesting. Mm. Another That'd species cool. not on Earth. You know, never. Never discovered. I don't know something goofy. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be kind of cool. But yeah, they do uh, the whole Assassin's Creed type of thing where they just keep going to different <laughs> times throughout history and insert predator here. <laughs> <laughs> so. Pretty much. At this point, man, that. they get this much yeah. money success. Uh, we said. Uh, oh, then Garrett said, uh, "Ancient Greece would be super cool." You know, mm. like predator. Put him in the in the Coliseum. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> you know, World nice. War One predators in the trenches. That'd be that'd, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be kind of funny. But uh, the Greece one would be pretty cool. I can see that. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, but yeah. So if you're sticking around, uh, if you're watching on watching live, stick around. If you're watching on replay, uh, let us know what you thought of Prey. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Um, anything like that? Let's leave your comment. And let us know what you thought about it. 